Good morning, everybody. It is David Knox coming to you with our first Monday Administrator and Manager webinar, Monday, January 4th, 2016. I'm out uh, in California today, and I'll be taking off to Brooklyn, New York, and we are going to videotape a gentleman named Lawrence Wong, who is one of the 30 under 30 top agents, and we're going to follow him around for three days, and we're going to bring to you earlier in the year some of the techniques from this gentleman and uh, continuing our on-location shoot of real agents in actual transactions. So, welcome to the webinar. The next webinar is going to be Monday, February, <laughs> I suppose you want a date there, I think it's February 1st. Uh, we're going to talk about the January 2016 videos and then I'm going to talk about something I'm so excited about and that's how to implement our accountability action plans. So, Knox for Tuesday, number 94, called New Beginnings, uh, 8 minutes, 29 seconds, and it's just kind of a list of how to clean out everything from your life before you get on with the new year. And um, Connie, who was on the webinar, said she really liked it, and her agents liked it as well. And, uh, in fact, oh, yeah, Connie's down there. <laughs> Connie, there's a there's your um, feedback off in the bottom. I'll have to clean your desk. Me too. Yeah, I just cleaned mine. Next, uh, a couple of quick tips. Uh, some of you may remember John Baumgartner. He was actually my realtor a number of years ago when I listed some properties and purchased one in Rancho Mirage. And uh, he was a brand new agent at the time, and now he actually has a 39% market share here in Mission Hills. So I brought him back in to interview him, and we did a couple of quick tips on uh, kicking off a new year and success through integrity. And again, you know, we're keeping them short. Um, so today, uh, we're going to talk about accountability plans, and I'm really excited about this feature. You know, the, I wake up at 3 in the morning with hearing people say, I can't get my agents to watch the videos, and it drives me absolutely crazy. How do we get people to watch? And uh, short of getting on a plane, flying out to their home, going into their uh, office or den, taking their finger and hitting the play button, uh, I don't know what to do. And I think if those of you who were on earlier were kind of little chatter going back and forth about maybe we take the bottom 50 or 70 percent of the agents and let them go. But let's take a look at those people in the top 20, 30 uh, percent who we can move, who we can help. And these accountability plans are going to be a manager tool to hold agents accountable to actions. I did about four or five videos with Bob Wolf this weekend and we really focused on the fact that it's activity, activity, activity. And you've got to do something, simple activities. And a guy like Bob Wolf, 140 million a year, it's, there is no magic secret for him. It's just, he says, David, I get up and I do activities and I do them consistently every single day. So these activity accountability plans are it's a specific plan for agents to engage in activities that lead to appointments, transactions, and income. And I really believe this is going to be one of the most powerful tools to take your agents to the next level. Uh, I'm very, very excited about it. And we've got all kinds of upgrades and plans, uh, improvements coming throughout the year. But right now, it is functional and you can use it. So I've also created a tutorial for you, a three-page PDF that takes you through um, it's three pages taking you through how to use it, kind of the introduction, how to edit it, how to edit tasks, how to personalize it. And this three-page tutorial is available right this second. You're welcome to uh, log in and go over to the support material uh, under curriculum support using this interface, and you'll see a uh, tutorial how to create a custom curriculum. Click on that, and I've added the RET DK Accountability Plan tutorial to that video. Uh, I believe Mary has also put it in the manager resources, but for now, the easiest way to get it is right here, right now, print it out and follow along. So here's an overview of what I'm going to take you through today. Uh, the steps of using our accountability plans are, number one, clone an existing template, name it personally to your company, save it, and then edit it. And you can add, delete, or rename, and re add, delete, rename, and reorganize any of the sections. You can add or delete videos. You can add or delete or rename tasks. Having edited it, save it again. You enroll agents in an action plan, and once that is done, it appears in the agents menu, and you can monitor progress and hold agents accountable. So let's go to the site. So now I'm logged in as an administrator. So step number one is to go to accountability manage accountability. And you will see templates that are already created for you. New agent, luxury real estate, 
and Rising Star. And if you want to preview them, click on the preview button and you can scroll through and this new agent is a 14 step action plan. And you'll see all the videos I put in for that first section and all the tasks, starting with onboarding, name tags, name sign writer, you know, fundamental tasks. Now many of you, by the way, submitted these tasks to me and I went through tons of emails and suggestions and put all of these in there. So I wanted the template to be you know, 90% of what you would want and then you can edit the final 10%. And step two goes through introduction to prospecting, videos and tasks, step three, etc. So you can scroll all the way through this and see all of the steps. Let's go to the luxury real estate. Same thing. Uh, this was done for uh, a really good client of ours who does a lot of work in the luxury market. So we created a specific template just for that company to use. So for those of you in the luxury, you know, you're welcome to go in and do that. And this one I have been working on all weekend. In fact, I actually sat down with Bob Wolf for a couple hours and I said, Bob, I want to take those people that are at maybe two or three million a year and take them maybe not to 140 right away, but how do we get them up to 10, 12, 15 million? And I sat with him for three hours and I wrote a whole list of notes with him. We put it into an outline and then I put it into a rising star action plan. And what's interesting about this is the first sections are what I call foundational. That is, you just do them one time. So the business planning, marketing materials, time for assistance, dealing with time management, those are things we put down and you've just got to work through as quickly as you can. After that, we do the recurring things such as sphere of influence, geographic prospecting, marketing, mailing, traditional prospecting sources. So if you've got some agents that you want to take to the, you know, seven, eight, ten million, whatever you want, this would be the plan to use. So let's see how you use it. Step one is to clone. Let's say you're going to do the new agent plan. You click on clone. And when you do that, it will appear uh, down in your menu. So the new agent plan was created down below. Now at this point, because I've already done one, this would be it. So you would, uh, so you can go in and edit the plan. You can edit the structure. In fact, if you go to structure, then you can click right through here. And this is where you make it your own company plan. I'm going to delete this one right now because I already did. It's kind of like on those baking shows where they already they uh, they already baked it. So this is this is the plan that I cloned. So when I cloned it, it said new agent, and I went in, and, and this is where you would put your company's name. And I know many of you have specific names for your for your plans. So whatever they are, this is where you do it. This is the the structure from one uh, through fourteen. Now I took the numbers out because I thought it'd be easier for you guys to to move it around and not have to renumber the whole thing. So you can go into this structure and say, well, maybe I'm going to get rid of objections and I'm going to get rid of, um, uh, maybe I'll get rid of the legal right now because we cover that in a different class and just I'm just making this up as I go and maybe for sale by owners we're going to uh, uh, do it later. Um, by the way, Mary, if you're listening, Mary and Rob, I just got an email from Betty Lochnain who I thought, saw some flash. She was in a tough time getting into the webinar, so if you want to call her and help her out. So after you delete the sections, you can click update plan. Let's go back again. I'm going to hit structure one more time. And you can move things around. Obviously these, uh, maybe geographic farming, you, you want to move that up earlier. Maybe you want working with buyers to be up earlier. So you can take all these sections and move them around. So this is more more of a macro view and who knows maybe you say you know what I want to have them do business planning um, right after getting started and once again having done that you update the plan and now you have a new structure okay I hope you're with me here next you do the detail editing so you click on editing and this is where you see the videos and the tasks and at this level you can alter the sequence you can't edit the task yet that's the next one. So maybe email signature, if you want that up a little bit higher, you want to delay agent safety, new agent mentorship lessons, maybe you really like that to be uh, the first thing they see. And maybe you want new agents old school to be up higher. Then you can go down to the tasks, 
And you know, I put them in a sequence that I think you're already going to like, but maybe you want them to do online presence. Maybe that's the first thing so they can capture that. Uh, get a professional photo taken, uh, maybe name tag, you wait. But as you can see, you can move these around, just click and drag. It is so, so, so easy. But now, maybe you want to do more detailed editing, and that is to add and subtract videos and tasks. So we click on Edit again, and this takes you to a far more detailed view. And the first thing you'll see on Edit Training Plan is a list of videos. And if you scroll down here, anything with a check mark is something that's already included. And maybe you go back and say, you know, I don't want to mess with Facebook and the getting started. We're going to save that for later. Uh, but I do want them to uh, be familiar with some financing. So I'm going to put that in there because uh, we're in kind of a financing market. So you can go through check uncheck the videos and by the way I realize it is <laughs> it is kind of a long list and you have to scroll through it but let's say you're trying to find a video on open houses uh, I hope you all know how you can search a web page command F and if you type open house command F will take you to that and command G will take you through the entire list that's how I get to videos uh, faster command F and command G and then select them and let me just stop there. We'll go all the way down the bottom and we'll update the section. So if you see here, these are the videos I added. Now because I added them, they defaulted to the top. So you might say, you know, I want to go back, have safety first. I want to have this up there and click and drag and, and put them in the order you like. Okay, so so far, what I've taken you through is you go to manage accountability, preview a plan, clone it, name it, save it, edit the structure and now edit detail. So I'm going to click the same edit button on the same section only this time I'm going to scroll all the way down to the bottom to the task and here is the whole list of tasks that we have put in. And um, this is where you can change the name so in other words uh, you know if any of these you want to put your company name in and let's say you got a professional photo somebody who does professional photos and it's a uh, you know, it's a guy named John Roberts, and it's, you know, and you put in a phone number, you know, so you can make it very specific if you want. Complete your onboarding paperwork, and maybe you have a different term for that, and maybe you put your company name in. Uh, shadow, mentor, and agent. Some people use shadow, some use mentor. You say, well, I like, I don't like to use mentor. We use the term shadow around here, so I'm going to change it to shadow. And, uh, you, again, you can go through all these tasks that we put in, change it, delete it, move it, anything you want with these things. Um, maybe you don't have, maybe they can't customize their own company web page, so you're going to delete that. Uh, determine your primary market, maybe you save that for later, and you click update section, and as you go through all these, of course the new age is 14, so 14 sections, so it's going to be a lot of work probably, but once it's done, it is done. And by the way, I want to make sure you guys can um, uh, Mary, her name was Betty Lochnane, L-O-C-K-N-A-N-E, I believe. Um, I'm going to pause for one minute here because I do have a tendency to get going fast. And I'm going to let you guys type in any questions on what I have done so far. Uh, at some point, can we load PDF documents to the kind of plans? That is a great question. In fact, Dan Washington, one of our members, <laughs> we started this plan because he had a 250-page manual and it was costing him $75 per agent uh, to print the thing out. And we're going to create a feature where he splits it into his 10 segments. And under here where it says edit, uh, we're going to have a uh, upload PDF just like the standard where you click the browse, you go around, you find it, and you upload and attach it. So the answer is yes. I'm going to write that down if that's the first question. Uh, upload PDF feature. Uh, thank you for your question. Yes, that's going to be most of you who have training manuals with hundreds of pages. We're going to create it so you can put it in here. They can read it right online and you no longer have to print it. Thank you. Anybody else have questions? Now is a good time. The other thing we're going to have is on the task, we're going to add a comment section. I'm not going to drag you through too much of what we're going to do in the future, but trust me, it's going to continue to get better. So now let's go back. Um, to your site. So you've created this plan. Well, now you need to enroll agents into it. 
So here we go back to accountability, enrolled agents, and I have already enrolled some agents. So we go over here, and by the way, the enrolled ED and enroll as a verb, I wanted to use enroll rather than assign, but you would click on this, I would get a list of people that I want uh, in my site, and since uh, Megan's on the line, I'm gonna enroll her. So I enroll her, so now uh, Megan is enrolled in the plan, um, she has not started it obviously, so we've got 0% uh, progress. And now what I can do is as a manager, I can see her progress, I can click on her plan, and I can go through and see, did I click on the right one? Oh, that's right. Uh, what did I do here? Sorry. Uh, I think I may have clicked on some of those. Um, and by the way, right here you can see where I updated that and changed the phone number. So I personalized that. So here's your list of agents. In fact, you can sort. You'll be able to sort by progress if you want. You can sort by email. You can sort by branch. And um, you can sort by plan. So I've got uh, my company customized plan. Let's click on Dave Beeson's plan. And same thing, I can go through and see what he's watched. So now he goes through, and um, and I'll show you. We'll go to Dave's. I'm going to go. By the way, this is so new. I was, we were writing this last night. So now I'm going to. This is Dave Beeson. Let me let me take you where we are. I'm just going to take a pause, take a breath. Okay, I am a manager. I want to enroll an agent. I go to enrolled agents, and I take a a plan, I click enroll agents, and let's say we enrolled Dave Beeson, so he is now in there. So what will happen when Dave goes to his site under action plans, he's going to see that I've assigned him, in this case, two of them. So he'll go to my company plan, and he clicks continue because he's already started. So what happens is, as he goes through and does these tasks, he'll click on the words to do, and it changes it to a date of completion. Now, by the way, these some of these plans that I did were done before we did the enroll, so they haven't gone back to catch them, catch some of the activities. So let's go to a video. So he's going to uh, watch a video. So he'll tune in. And by the way, the beauty of this action plan is they don't have to. I'll close out of that. The beauty of this plan is they don't have to go out and look for the video. It's right there. When they click on it, they're already logged in, so it plays and now it will show when the video is played. So now we should go back to my site, and it's still gonna show 0% progress because it's such a huge plan and we've only had them do a couple of things, so the percentage doesn't show much yet. So I can go back, click on Dave, and uh, I can see the videos that he's watched. Um, and by the way, some, this, Pardon me, this plan that I created for him was before we did the enroll agents, so it may not look perfect here. But I'm going to go back to here. I've talked to you about videos and tasks. Now there's a new thing called actions. This is how your agents talk to you. And um, so maybe he uh, presents an offer. So we're just going to add, add a task. So then what happens is, now I'm going to go back to your portal. As a manager, I go back in, I go to accountability, and take a look at my agent, and I can go through and see what this agent has watched. And I, I can also take a look at the actions. And so at this point, maybe I want to go back, call the agent up or something, or communicate, or just stay in touch with that agent. So that's as simple as it goes. So again, if I want to enroll an agent, I click on Enrolled Agents, you'll get the list of all of your agents, and you click on the ones that you want. Now in the future, what we're going to have is enroll all or enroll just a few, so we'll do some bad. Oh, by the way, and right here you see Dave's progress updated, and I just learned something. Um, you do need to refresh, um, otherwise it won't to show the upgrade. It'll be a static plan. So now that I've gone in and done some work in Dave's, it shows 4% progress, and, um, and now I've got to go back to Dave's plan. Let's do a couple more of these and see what happens. I'm just going to uh, willy-nilly click on some of these to-dos, 
and it puts in the date. Now again, we're also going to have comment boxes in here. So, you know, maybe the agent did something, but it required some other activities. So now I'm going to go back here to the manager portal. I'm going to go command R and refresh. Let's see what happens. Enrolled agents. Okay, so there Dave went to 6%. So his progress went up. I can click on his email and scroll down and see what he has left to do. So it's really as simple as that. I, I would like to take more time, but it's, I don't know what the point would be. So, but I want to summarize this. You as administrators must log in and go to manage accountability and you've got to click clone so you have plans down here. And once the plan is cloned, it will show up in your manager's portal so the managers can then log in and assign a plan. So either the administrator or the manager can do this. And that's the point I want to make. Those of you who are uh, the administrators create the global plan for the company. The managers can assign the plan, as can administrators. So the managers can assign the plan to the agent. But you've got to tell your agents. Uh, so let's go back to uh, the agent section. Once you have assigned a plan, then this, and by the way, I called it action plan because I didn't think accountability plan would be a name you'd want to use with your agents. And the agent will go in, and in most cases, you're just going to have one plan. For a new agent, it's going to be the you know, the new agent plan, and they just click on continue, and off they go and do their task. And the beauty of this is the agents now have one place to go for their task, for their videos, and they can communicate back and report their actions. Managers can log in, find w what they're watching, when they're watching it. They can take a look at the task completion and take a look at the actions that they've posted. So. Uh, just in summarizing where we went, you cloned a template, you named it, personalized it, saved it. Uh, you can move the sections around, rename them, reorganize them, add them, delete them. Uh, for the videos, same thing, add or delete. Task, I showed you, you can add, delete, or rename any of the tasks, clearly personalize them, put all your company name when it wins a feature. Then uh, the managers enroll their agents in an action plan, and maybe your company has two or three, and a manager says, well, I've got a new agent, so I'm going to do the new agent plan and then the manager needs to log in and monitor progress. In the future, um, we're going to build in reporting systems where uh, you know, maybe they get an email. By the way, I'm going to look at some questions. Uh, Dave, how about a future video and advantages to be on a team for our buyer-seller agents would be? Um, yeah, you know, Ron, uh, maybe email me, david at davidknox.com, and we can talk more about that. Um, Roger, this is excellent. Thank you. Good. I hope you all think it's going to help you a lot. Um, so in summary, I would say what I would ask all of you to do now is, and I want to make this clear, administrators, those of you who are administrators, you must clone one of the plans first or it doesn't show up anywhere. We've had a lot of calls from managers going, hey, I go into accountability, there's nothing there. That's because the administrator must do it first. Now, for those of you who are in a single office company, uh, managers and administrators probably are the same person. So once the administrator uh, clones it, it should appear in the agent's uh, menus. So I want you to create your own company plan. I want you to put some agents on it. Maybe just start with one or two and take them through it. And I'd like to hear how it works. This is going to be a work in progress throughout 2016. And, um, and email me anytime you have an idea and be sure to give us feedback and then we'll let you know what the updates are. But I want to remind you again, uh, let's go back here. I'm going to go to videos. If you guys over here, go over here and click on using this interface and how to create a custom curriculum, I just felt that was the closest to it. Click on RETDK accountability plan tutorial and it will open as a PDF and you can print this out. And if you find anything in there that's confusing, let me know and I'll, we're going to be editing this as we go. So I'm going to pause here and take a look at questions. So I'm going to turn it back to you guys. Oh, uh, Ron brought up a good point. It's a great program for recruiting. Well, our whole training is a great program for recruiting. Just sitting down with somebody and showing them the videos is a good recruiting tool. But when you tell them and you show them that you're going to put them on a 14-week track or 20-week, maybe you add more sections and say, we're going to actually take you through the specific tasks that will make you successful, um, you know, that's got to give you a huge, huge recruiting edge. And again, the, the thing that's missing in all of real estate is agents being held accountable to doing actions. 
and I hope for all of you managers out there, I, my heart goes out to you. You've got a million things you have to do in running an office. And I thought if I could just set up something for you automated, job, all you have to do is log in maybe every day and take a look at what's happening. It should make your life easy. So um, again, I'm going to pause here, see if anybody has, has any questions. Yeah, I really want to hear how this is going to work. And um, in fact, maybe I'll throw in a little of incentive for the first ones of you that get some agents loaded into this and they start making some progress. How about this? I will personally telephone the agent on the action plan and just tell them congratulations on, on being in it. Maybe I do something where I'll, for the first ones of you do this, once they complete a plan, I'll call them up and congratulate them. So please, anybody have any questions, please type them in. Uh, hey, Vicki, I'm going to unmute you. Are you there, Vicki? Yep. Hey, how does this look to you? You you were helping me build this I'm thing. I'm so excited. I love it. I'm I'm I think it's just fabulous. You've done a wonderful job. Thank you. How do you think you're going to use it? Well, um, we have a 12-week program already that uses all of you know uses your videos where they're assigned as homework and they're offered in cl live class, and so I'm going to um, convert that program into a cl you know a cloned new agent class okay. um, as the first step. I think that's, you know, it'll it'll give us great accountability. So I'm, I'm very excited. Great. Now, do you have a manual that you would want to upload as well? We do have a manual. Um, I don't know. I guess we could upload it. You mean instead of printing it? Yes, I just give that as an option. I mean, there's yeah. there's a lot of things there. I think we'll pr continue to print it because we have a live class and everybody, you know, it's not just this isn't just self study. This is a live class where they get together, yeah. and I and they take notes based on what their instructor adds to the curriculum. So I think um, it keeps it all in one place and creates a re a printed resource for them. Yeah. So I think we'll continue to do that. Okay. Well, if you had anything else, it was going to be a PDF by section. That's going to be one of the next things we'll work on. Yeah. Um, so. Well, what we have not had in the past is um, a self-directed new agent program, and I might take your class almost identical, almost the identical class that you have laid out, and create that for agents who are not available to take our live training as an alternative, um, and see how that goes. We've tried to do something like that before, but it was. You know, I kind of got bogged down in it. So here where you've done everything for us, maybe I'll just take it the way it is and offer a self-directed program to people who are beginning as – it's typically somebody who's a part-time agent yeah. and hasn't, um, you know, totally committed. They haven't left their old jobs and they can't make our weekday classes. So um, this might just really give them some nice structure. Good. Well, my goal in this is number one. Uh, you know, when I hear only five percent of the agents are making, you know, sustainable income in this business, right. I you know I would really like to get that up to, I don't know, ten, fifteen, twenty. I don't think you're going to get past that because they're just it's not the way the world works. But I just really think we can help a lot of these agents be more successful. And I really want to help these poor managers. I got so much to do. I just want to make their life easier. But still, I want to hold managers accountable for holding their agents accountable. I hope this, right. this does it. I think it's wonderful. Well, thank you very much, Vicki. I will uh, unmute you or mute you, and I'll see if is there anybody else that has a question. Uh, I don't want to drag this webinar on. I don't see any more questions, so let me just summarize by saying this: uh, as you all get in and use this, I'm sure you're going to come across times where, well, what do I do here, and how do I fix that? And you know I'm, we're available. We answer our phones. You can email me, david at daviddocs.com. Uh, you can call our office. I'll make sure I chat with you. And, um, and if you have some tasks that you think would be appropriate to add to our template, let us know. In fact, if you're going in to improve, uh, clone a template, you go, wait a minute, i got about 20 tasks that I think I'd like in there, and I think everybody else would like it too. Let me know, and I'll update the template first so you don't have to reinvent the wheel. So... Um, for all of you, you know your business means the world to me, and uh, pretty much all we do all day long is say, you know, how can we help our members improve their lives, improve their productivity, make their job easier? So that's my goal with all of you. I thank you all so, so much for your membership, and I wish you a wonderfully happy and prosperous 2016. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Appreciate it. Talk to you again soon. Bye-bye now.